Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Teague, Auto Jeff, and today we're looking at the 2021 Ford Bronco. It's new, it's back, right? There's a lot to see, but I'm gonna show you what I think are the top gadgets, technology, and cool, just really out there features that you might find on a Bronco like this. The first thing I think is really cool is just the sheer volume of trim levels and configurations that are available. First of all, you've got seven different trim levels. This is the middle one, outer banks. We've got the base, We've got Big Bend, Black Diamond, Outer Banks, Badlands, Wild Track, and First Edition. You won't see First Edition very much. I believe there are only 3,500 or so being built at all. We're gonna do a quick walk around, and Urban Legend says there are many Easter eggs, badges, with either the Bronco symbol or the word Bronco, although you will not find Bronco on the back, the word Bronco, you'll see the logo here. But what's weird about it is the Ford badge. I believe that you only see it once on this vehicle, unless I'm wrong, and it's right there on the back. They really want to let you know this is a Bronco. Bronco, not Ford Bronco, Bronco, Bronco. This one has a soft top. It's removable, and so are these doors. You'll see four doors, they're removable. What's also significant, look the placement right here of the side mirror. When you take off the doors, don't have to worry about the mirror being in the way. Let's keep going here. That's really cool. Now pay attention right here to the round headlights. That's significant and I'm gonna tell you why. Because we're gonna look inside the interior. This has the upgraded leather seats. Normally they're fabric. The headlights, why did I bring that up? Because, look at this. That plate right there, built in Michigan Assembly Plant, actually built at Michigan Assembly Plant. But look, it's the shape that you see on the front of the vehicle. Let's look again. Look at that. Remote start. The shape that you see from the headlight. Little Easter eggs all around. The other thing I think is cool, the label this feature, look at the grab handles. We've got one here. Of course, you've got one over here. There's a good amount of back seat space as well. See if we can see some more grab handles. We see a lot of black with brown, but then we also see blue accents, which is really wild. A passenger grab handle, and that sucker's durable. Looks like a transformer. Is it gonna change into a car? A Bronco? Look, the word Bronco. And then we've got brown with blue stitching. It's just unique. Another grab handle, you want one? Right here, baby. And then looking around, another grab handle. Right there. Get up in, get up out, boom. There's a sophisticated camera system here. You can see this one right here. With the six lugs, nope, it's right here. That's the back camera. It's gonna work in combination with more cameras that you see on the sides and on the front. So underneath this fixed mirror here, you're gonna see a camera. It'll be on the other mirror as well. And then right here how does that benefit us well it's going to benefit us because we can see in front of push this little button here you can see behind and look how crystal clear that is really cool stuff right So, do you want the panoramic view behind you? Do you want right behind you? Do you want all the way around? Now let's put it in drive. Shut up and drive, drive, drive. Look at that. No, look at that. That's incredible. 12 inch screen here. It's the clarity on it 
It's remarkable, frankly. Can you imagine the benefit? Let's talk about some places where we could see some badging on the running board. That doesn't say Bronco, that says lift. Hmm, interesting. All right, we've got Bronco over here. Bronco here. Bronco right there. Let's go back around, we're not done. And then you've got a Bronco symbol here, but also the American flag. That's pretty impressive. Oh, more Bronco, holla. Let's look for some more badging here. This isn't necessarily Bronco, but if you want to tie down, I mean, sorry partner, if you want to lasso something down, it's here, it's here, it's here. Are we done? I don't think so, because we've got another Bronco symbol right here. Obviously, the engineers who built this had a blast designing and coming up with these hidden gems. This is clearly a vehicle that was not meant to be stock unless you wanted to keep it stock because over 200 accessories have been developed, created, made, built, manufactured, all that stuff to make it your own. Take a look in here, this spot right here, it's accessory ready. Want to add a light bar? It's accessory ready and it says it over there too. Now a real benefit for potential buyers and people who just want to know more about the Bronco, you can get a two door, you can get a four door that you see here, you can get the 2.3 liter EcoBoost four cylinder, which this one is right here. You can also bump up to the 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6, depending on how much power, how much horsepower and torque you want. You can also get it with a hard top or you can get it with a soft top. You can also go ahead and you've got these hooks here. You can lift this up and you can prop it. That way you can maybe fit some taller things in. A lot of versatility, things open up. The soft top can be removed, which is really cool. I'm not gonna do a full demo, but you can partially open it. You can fully open it. You can even remove it. So I'll just show you a couple basics of it. You have to lower these latches right here. And then, and then you've got Velcro straps that are included. So those Velcro straps, you just Velcro it in. Now, if you want to remove the whole top or open it up, all you do, I'm not gonna do the full thing, but you loosen this up, pull this out, and then you've got some clips right here to remove the rear quarter panel windows like that, and then you just keep going around. But that's how to take off the whole top. So you get the benefit on a day like today, I'm gonna leave it up, but the sunshine, Road trip. Now, if you're somebody who plans on taking an SUV to creeks and rivers and streams, islands in the stream, that is what we are. The Bronco could be for you because depending on how it's equipped, you can actually travel in water up to 33.5 inches. That's when it's equipped with the, this is the coolest word ever, the Sasquatch package. That way you get those big off-road tires and you can really do some nuts with these 35 inch tires here. This one I believe is 31.5, which is extremely respectable. You can still go through. That's what, two and a half feet of water you could travel in, in this Bronco. So what else is cool here? I've got the doors open for a reason because notice how this mirror, since it's fixed right here on the hood compartment, well, why not remove the doors? I can't do that today, but I'm gonna show you how you do it. On the doors, we're gonna do the old lift and grab technique. Sort of like in Legally Blonde when they did the bend and snap. Works every time. So with this lift and grab technique, we're gonna to have to remove some screws, some bolts. We've got lift up here, and then you can actually remove the doors all four doors, just look for the word lift. That's when you know you're good. And what's absolutely amazing is that you can actually store the doors, store the door right in here in this back cargo compartment. 
it fits. If it fits, I sit. 3,500 pound towing capacity, so get your boats and trailers and campers ready to roll. This particular one has the leather seat upgrade, which is cool. But you can get it base with water resistant fabric seats. That's significant because easy to clean, right? You can also get this with rubber floors, which if you had those, it would include drain ports throughout the cabin. And then look at these, the controls. You don't want to get droplets in the controls. They're rubber. See that? Pretty neat. So now let's go ahead and start this up. This is cool in itself, the startup screen. Massive 12 inch multimedia screen here. Let's turn it off. Check rear seats for occupants. We don't want to leave valuable things there, right? That's pretty cool. Now let's look at this screen here. So much you can do. You can look at navigation system. You can look at different apps. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. I have wireless Apple CarPlay here. The audio, you can do Sirius XM, Bluetooth. I'm playing Thunderstruck right now because I want to, because I can. You can do driver assistance. Set up all of your features, your safety features, how you want it. Zone lighting. Oh. Towing. Mm-hmm. And owner's manual. Really cool stuff, you guys. This is a BNO sound system, so you can actually set that up. How do I know? Well, right there. Really banging crystal clear sound. Pretty awesome stuff. You can adjust your sound. Let me hit that harder. This way you can set up your balance and fade. You can set up treble, mid, bass. There's a lot going on. Clock, vehicle. So see, there's a lot you can do to customize based on how you want to use this. And then here on this, again, massive information display, there's so much that you can look at here. And then we just scroll through these. Oh, pitch and roll meter. I like that. So much you can do. And then with off-roading here, you can use your differential. You can use trail turn assist. You can turn off traction control. Trail turn assist, that actually reduces power to the inside wheel when you're making a turn and you start to spin and you could do donuts, etc., etc. You can also get it maybe out of a tough obstacle you're in. Probably the last thing I'll show you is, let's say you wanted an accessory. Well, it's accessory ready. Put your GoPro right here and you can also charge it. Da -da 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 -da. The feature I wanna tell you about, this is really cool, it's the trail turn assist. What it does is if you're in snow or slippery situations, or maybe you just wanna do some really cool burnouts, maybe get yourself unstuck, you can spin around around your back tire. Let me show you how that works. So here's the button up here. You've got your locking rear differential. This is the turn assist right here, trail turn assist, and then this turns off the traction control and some hazard lights. You also want to have your vehicle right here with your goat mode switcher. You want to be, I'm going to be in four low for this particular exercise. Okay, so now we're going to try it without the trail turn assist on. This is a slippery parking lot here.
okay? And then we're gonna spin it around here. And then we're gonna put it into four low, ba-bing. And then we're also gonna put on the trail turn assist. Its job is to spin us around. That's pretty cool. So now let's um, try our trail turn assist here. I'll go backward and I'm gonna try it over by the ice very carefully. See what we can do here. Woo! <laughs> That's why you would use this feature. Now for me, this is a great gadget. Go goes over any type of terrain modes. You can choose from six different ones and you just turn the knob just like this. It also can automatically put you into four wheel, depending on what you want. You could do four low, four high, two wheel. So let's check out these modes. We got sport, slippery. We're gonna go back and start at this one here. We've got normal mode. Eco's better gas mileage. Sport, more rapid acceleration. Slippery. Slippery when wet. Mud and ruts. And see, it's going to put you into the mode that's appropriate. And you can see we're looking ahead right now, right? It's cool. And then, do we have more? I think we do. Oop, let's go the other way. Sand. We don't need rock crawl, but that's available as an option as well. And here's an example of when we might use slippery mode here. We've got slush. We've got some ice that hasn't quite melted yet. Now would be an excellent time to be in slippery mode. Everyone, thanks so much for watching. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you're returning, thanks for being here. What do you think of the Ford Bronco? We've got some videos coming. We're gonna do a full review of this baby here. We're also gonna do driving impressions. Those will be coming out later on in the week. So check out the full assortment. Let me know in the comment section what you'd like me to review. This was a request. You can find me on social media. First, my website, autojeff.com. You can also find me on Instagram at autojeffreviews, and you can see some wacky, funny, informational how-to videos and fun stuff over at TikTok, at autojeffreviews. Thanks, everybody. Peace.